this one we are adding an actual comment okay so let's get right into it so now comments are actually just posts they are not really anything special the same way we are uh, we are saving posts in here we can save comments so we don't even need to create a new table the comments can simply be right here in the posts uh, table the only difference is we need to add one more thing which is parent okay so this is how you create uh, comments and replies of replies of replies you can go as as deep as you want uh, it doesn't really matter so what we want to do here is create one more column let's add one more column and this column is going to be called parent okay so parent is the column and we will use big integer as usual and let's uh, save now we will need an index for this one because it's used for searching when reading okay so any column that you use to search for in your query you must add an index to speed things up so let's go down here so since we're going to be telling it where parent is equal to and so on and so forth we must add an index so let's go down here and add an index index for parent okay and uh, that's actually it for this site so what's going to be happening is that uh, these other posts the normal posts okay the parent which is at the end here is going to be zero okay but if let's say I have this post right here at the beginning and I, I put comments for it what will happen is the, all those comments will have the same value for parent and that will be the post ID okay so this post will be their parent which means they are children and that makes them comments so even when reading posts we're supposed to say read all posts where the parent is equal to zero meaning they are actual posts and they are not comments okay so let's come back here and see this in action so i'm going to load this one of course it has uh, some text and an image that's why this is a good candidate so down here we're supposed to create a function called get posts get comments for example okay but first of all let's see let's put something down here where we can actually type a comment now this is uh, easy because we already have that kind of thing in profile.php so let's go to profile.php here now in profile.php there's this part where we post posting starts here right so everything here remains uh, pretty much the same so let's just copy all this posting starts here let's copy everything as it is we will need that so let's go to single post.php and post exactly this at the top here right boom right there because we will be posting uh posts here now we we are not going to be saving settings here so we can easily remove this if statement that contains uh settings that one is out okay before you remove you make sure the open bracket here and the matching closing bracket you delete first the closing bracket so that it's easy to not get confused over what to do here all right so we leave everything as it is and this is uh all good we'll go and change a few things in create post obviously and then um, we go back to profile.php again and let's look for that place which says what's on your mind profile.php okay we don't have that anymore in here i think it moved to content default okay there we go so this is the part that i want so i'm going to copy everything here including this div copy and go to single post.php down here just after the post so the post ends there everything is cleared by this point and right inside there i am going to paste my form so let me see if that worked out all right so there we go so what's your mind what's on your mind we can change that to post a comment post a comment yeah there we go so the the comment can still contain a file 
and um, this is the post button everything remains the same pretty much okay post a comment right there so once we post so let's try and post a comment now one more thing we have to add here is the uh, parent the parameter for the parent so here there's an input type of a button there's a file here but let's add one more here and this one is going to be of type hidden okay so this one will be hidden and then we'll just give it a name and the name is going to be parent okay and then the uh what else is remaining the name it's hidden that's the name oh the value of course this one will have a predetermined value so what we're getting where we're getting the value from is from the post so whatever this post is the post id is the parent here so value is equal to so let's add some php tags and we echo that out row and then we're going to say post id and close that close the php tags just like that so this is hidden so that it's not seen by the user but it contains that important parameter of parent now let's go back to the post class to make sure that it's going to accommodate our new uh, parent parameter there okay because this is um when we post right here so there is create post that's what we are going to look for so i'm going to go here in the classes post.php and then actually create post is the very first uh, function at the top here so it's got the data so let's see what's happening when saving here so let's come down here and so it saves the user id it saves the post id etc etc now uh what we will do is we're just going to say there's post id here right we will create a post id but we are also going to create the post the parent uh, so let's say let's just say parent is equal to zero so let's equate equate it to zero because normally it's a zero but we're going to check if it exists so we're going to say if is set data since our variable is now called data in here uh, not a parent okay so if it's set parent and is numeric just to avoid being hacked so we make sure that it's actually just a number and not some uh, hacking text if that is true then parent will be equal to that parent is equal to this let's put it there and there we go and then from now on we can include parent in our posting here so just make sure you include it in the same location here as you do there so we're going to just go to the very end here and add comma parent and then we're going to go down here and do the same at the very end so i'm just going to shift uh, control shift d here to duplicate the very last one and then just change it to parent like so and that's it so just like that we are creating uh we've created our comments so now let's um let's go here where there's this um uh, get posts where is this get posts right here so we're going to modify this one to get comments Control shift d to duplicate and then we're going to change this to comments okay mm -hmm. so get comments so select all from posts now when we get comments we, we want to get a com comments for a particular post so we're just going to follow this id so we're just going to say select all from posts where parent is equal to that id now we're not going to order by id descending because the first comment uh, is always at the top not the latest comment just like post because with posts the latest comment is at the top but with comments the latest comment is at the bottom 
so we are ju just going to change this descending to ascending like so so order by id ascending okay and uh, that's it actually everything else remains the same so get comments and then now we can really go down to single posted php down down here since we already know that uh, the post uh is it actually set let me go up here and check yes there we go post is a good new post so we will need this baby down there so let me go down 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 so right after the form i think after this part here we can add our comments down here so let's put our php tags and closing php tag and then we already know post exists so post get comments it's that simple right and then let's put the row uh, po uh, use post id in there just like that and let's have a variable called comments is equal to uh -huh. then we can check if it's an array if is array comments like so then we are in business uh -huh. so let's loop through these and we're going to use the for each loop just like that so for each comments and then we don't need key and value we just need the value and the same value we're just going to name it comment row because it's a row for a single row for a comment however since we're going to include a file here we're going to include post.php since comments uh look just like posts but uh maybe we should change this let's add another file called comment.php right now let's go to post.php here and see what it actually looks for and that's the raw it looks for actual raw hmm. so what we will do is go to our uh, thing here and copy post.php paste it and let's change it to comment dot php and open it in our browser so let's change this row uh, not row user but just row this one right here so we'll look for where row has that where does it start where does it start okay so right there where there's row with a and then let's let's control d to find it everywhere all right oh that's a lot of roads right there all right so once we get all of them let's move the cursor delete and then put comment instead of row okay so let's go back to post.php oh is it okay now i'm getting confused it's single post.php sorry so here we will use uh, comment because that's the one that the this file is expecting to see and with that said we should have our comments okay since we haven't typed any comment let's try one let's say this is my first comment just that is enough so let's post oopsie we went to the wrong place so never mind ah so code to an identified function in uh, okay i mistyped that so let me it's it's supposed to be include there we go so let's see what we get and there we go this is my first comment so i have a comment down here as easy as that so now uh the comment was successfully uh, posted there uh, which is cool 
Now you can do some formatting to edit this comment. Uh, for example, we don't need to see the comment button here, but everything else remains the same. So in comment.php, where is that? Oopsie, comment.php, there we go. So what I don't want to see is the comment. So here, if for example, you're going to create replies, you can change this word to reply. And then when someone clicks here, they come back here and you see now the comment itself is at the top and somebody can reply. You see, it works automatically like that because this is treated just like a, a, a post. So you can have replies of replies of replies. Even this same one can go. And then if I post another comment here, I can reply to that comment, etc. And this will be the parent. So it can keep going on and on and on, but I don't want that. So I just want a list of comments down here and no replies because it makes uh, things a little bit more complex for, it'll make things complex for this tutorial. So we will omit that part. So let's go to where I can't find uh, comments. Let me make sure the case is correct. Comment. Why can't I find this? Okay, let me just find the like button. Oh, there's a like everywhere. Okay. It comments. Wow, why can't I find what I'm looking for? So there's edit. Okay, where is this? This is uh, literally a maze in here. Okay, there we go. So I have my orientation back. So there's edit and delete, but uh, full view and then there's um, echo. There's the date and then there's comment. So I will remove this part right here from the comments. So no more comments here. We can only like. Now, remember that uh, because everything is treated like a post, even if I hit like here, it will get a like there without a problem. See, I don't have to program this part anymore and I can still click to see who liked that comment. So everything works out very, very well. Let's try a second comment, a second comment here. So let me post that. Oh, and one more thing, this is this keeps bringing us back here. So this is my bad. Let me go back to um, to where is this? At the top here of comment dot no single post dot PHP and remove where it's telling me to redirect back to the profile here. So this is supposed to go to single post php however we have to give it an id and say id is equal to it has to know what the id is so if we are posting here we will get the id from the get variable at the top there so i'm going to just say get like so and then id like that okay because we're assuming it's actually set so for you to actually post, then the ID must be set. So comment. So second comment, let me try third comment here. And so that we are redirected back here. Very nice. So there we go. So these are the comments down here. Now we need to see where one comment ends and the other one starts. So what you could do is you could style them nicely. Let me go to the top here, ID posts, right? Then I can style it and say background color. Uh, let's add some background color, a little bit of darkness, AAA. Let's see what that does. Oh, there we go. So one comment, two comment, three comment. Now uh, this is too much. So let me try CC. Oh, DDD. Should be slightly off white. Ah, there we go or E maybe, E, E, E. The closer you are to F, because F is white, uh, the lighter it's going to be. Okay, there we go. 
So one comment, two comment, three comment. So we can see the comments right there. So, so far so good. And you can like, you can edit the comment if you want and so on. Everything works fine. So we will continue in the next video.